It's kind of crazy how it's been over a year since we've gotten any new Hunter Hunter, pretty much, well, not news, but just content. And I remember last Christmas Eve when Tagashi released that last chapter. And I remember just how crazy it was in terms of the audience reaction. Not that anything crazy even happened from what I remember, but just Hunter Hunter coming back. And I remember making videos about it last year. I'm not gonna lie, as much as I love and respect Tagashi and the series, Hunter Hunter is a great series, I love it. I still am not a huge fan of the latest arc. I just, I don't care for it. I'm not a huge fan of it. And I don't know, I just, I like Karapika. I think the king, the royalty line stuff is interesting. But I don't know, like I read Hunter Hunter for Gon and Kilwa and Karapika and Leorio and like for me, the peak, York New City and parts of Chimera Ant. Those were the best arcs. And of course, like I love Crollo and, you know, seeing what he's up to. That's really what I read Hunter Hunter for. I read Hunter Hunter for those characters. I don't really care about this royal, the, the king's arc or whatever it is. The the arc where they're all on the boat and they're trying to decipher who's going to be the next to inherit the throne. I just I just don't care. I don't know if that's a hot take. I just I just don't care. And I guess that's a whole other video. But if you ask me, I mean, I always preferred Yu Yu Hakusho over Hunter Hunter. But that doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, they're both incredible series. And I hope Tagashi's doing well. A couple weeks ago, or maybe a month ago at this point, he revealed, like, his possible endings for the series in case he dies. And, like, I respect that. I think it's cool that he did that. But I, I definitely want him to to keep kicking. And I hope he takes his health seriously because, you know, after Miura passed, I just, I don't want another great creator to pass away because it would just be really unfortunate. 